hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messages channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a tarot card reader, psychic medium, animal communicator. And this is your summer solstice. Actually, it's your Lilith Midsummer Solstice spread. Um, and summer solstice for 2023 is June 21st. I looked that up, so blame Google if I'm wrong. And <clears throat> got my cards in hand. I'm going to be shuffling them while I read a little something. And this, this spread is from Sasha Graham's book, 365 Tarot Spread, which I love Sasha. And I love the book. So <clears throat> Lilith, Litha. I'm sorry, I said Lilith. This is Litha, not Lilith. Litha was originally intended to coincide with the summer solstice. And on modern calendars, it's often celebrated between June 20th and the 24th. A fire and water festival, it marks the convergence of the sun and the moon, and it is considered optimal for harvesting magical and medicinal plants. Summation of spread, the sun card corresponds to the high day of summer. On an intellectual level, the sun represents being able to communicate, while on the physical plane, it represents victory, success, recognition, and glory. This spread is based on the seven sacred directions. It is a powerful meditative opportunity for reflection during the excitement of midsummer's magical manifestation and abundance. So after watching this spread, go out and pick some flowers or um, an abundance of uh, or a bouquet of herbs or bring the splendor of summer inside. So I've got seven cards to pull. Grab your own cards if you want to stop the video and do that. Or you can purchase the spread. Um, check out the notes below and you can see the direct link to spread to purchase this bread from my website and I record it back in a YouTube video just like this. So seven cards, let's dive in. So using Tarot of Dreams by Chira Marchetti. First card is East or Air. What do I need to know? East or Air, what do I need to know? That abundance and harvest is there. New starts, new beginning, new births. You need to know that you are ready and available. South Fire, so what is your potential? And this is a collective reading, so this is for everybody watching this. So so what is your potential? Ooh, that we can howl at the moon, that we have great intuition and understanding, love, emotional connection. This is Pisces energy. And this first one was also some Venus energy going on there. So West, water, what do you understand? Growth and expansion. Oh, I thought this is the wheel. I always do that. So first of all, take growth and expansion. Whenever I make a mistake, I always think about that. But this is the world card. So what do you understand? That we're living in the world. We are living in a material world. <laughs> and there are restrictions. And there are things that, you know, I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. But unfortunately, I'm still in a body and a mindset where I haven't been able to get off the ground. In my dreams, I'm flying. So sometimes this is that Saturnine um, kind of restriction, those rings that hold us together. Um, and the world card is, what else do you need to know? That things are coming to an end. You know, things are closing, the chapter's ending, not like world ending. Um, that would be kind of, you know, wild and bizarre. North or Earth, what should you nurture? Oh, the emotional release, the healing, Mars and Scorpio, that Scorpio death and rebirth. And this person has drunk too much and they're letting out some emotions. So what do you need to nurture? Your emotions, the releasing of them, the healing of them, the processing of them. Card number five, above. What divine wisdom is yours that the work pays off? Mars and Capricorn. So that you stay focused on the work, it will pay off. Avoid the naysayers and negative people that are around you, behind your back, telling you what you should be doing. Card number six, what do you inherit? What do you inherit? Ah, oh, balance and stability. This queen of swords with Libra energy. And you will you will inherit your, your voice. You know, <laughs> now I'm thinking, you've got your voice. <laughs> um, so from Ursula Little Mermaid, she got the voice though. But you'll inherit your voice and be able to speak your truth. And the last card, card number seven within. How do you connect with what is inside of you? Okay, so five of swords. Have those deep intellectual conversations. This is Venus. This is Aquarius. Aquarius is water bear. So there's even water in this air card. So, and Venus is about love. Let's say it's about self-love. How do you connect with what's inside of you? Some self-love 
difficult personal conversations, understanding where you're believing the um, false beliefs, where you are ignorant and where you're fall, falling for the illusions. Find a way to move to truth with love, kindness, and compassion. So we've got two number fives in this spread. We've got um, <clears throat> Empress, Moon, World card. Started out three major arcana. So this is a big spread. It's a big time. Summer solstice. Um, let's see. No coin. No. Yeah, so we have a cup, a coin, a sword, two swords, two swords, no fire. I was new there, but we're missing something. So no wands here. So there's not a lot of fiery um, transformative stuff going on right now, which is funny because we're at the height of summer solstice in the northern hemisphere where it's, you know, long, hot days. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so yeah, we're missing the fire. And I think that's okay. I don't think we need to add the fire in. I think it's more focused on what's going on mentally. Um, but yeah, there you go. So there's a great collective reading for you. The Litha um, Summer Solstice Spread. Kept someone to say Lilith. That's funny. Anyway, thanks for watching, retweeting, posting, subscribing. Um, checking out my spread store where you can buy a spread. I record a video, get it back to you within one to three days. All right, namaste. Bye-bye.